Hey everyone, I want to con congratulate my friend, Oakland Councilmember Rebecca Kaplan, known for quite some time, all the way back to when she was um, on the AC Transit Board, and it goes back to 2007. But she has successfully won again to represent uh, the city as its at large rep council member. What that means is she presides over the entire city. She was essentially the second mayor. And if you're wondering how that came about, it was the result of the 1993 Charter Review Commission that was chaired by the late Richard Winnie, who is a legendary attorney in Oakland and former District 4 council member Dick Spees. If you ever go to the Chabot Science Center, uh, it was Dick Spees who marshaled the necessary people and money to have what is still an Oakland monument and visitor center and learning place built. So you can thank Dick Spees for that. At any rate, the at-large position came out of that committee, commission. Um, originally, it was supposed to be two of them. There's one. But Rebecca has admirably served Oakland in that area. But this election, she was challenged three ways. The normal way by her challenger, uh, Derek Johnson, let's not forget Nancy Sidebotham, who got a healthy set share of the vote this time, even though she didn't win. It got oh, about 10,000 votes I think, when all is said and done. Um, Lyft, which mounted a multi million dollar campaign against her because she dared try to have the law changed so that drivers were treated more like employees and less like uh, people just doing it for extra money. But we're actually doing it, you know, full time, right? And then the mayor. This election was uh, the latest round in an ongoing battle between Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff and Councilmember Kaplan. And once again, as happened four years ago, Rebecca prevailed. She won. But she won even though there were even though she was beset with a number of examples that are by turns sexist and also crept in, but this time it gets Derek Johnson, racism. It was ugly. You had a publication, I'm not going to bother the name because I've named it before, using the classically institutionally racist, hey, you say you're successful, but you're not successful because you filed for bankruptcy trope at a time when one of the central conversations around race in, this, in America has to do with equity and financing for businesses. So here are the stupid media organization Racist take. And I don't care if the editor is black and all that stuff, okay? Someone pointed that out to me. Like, excuse me, you know, our folks can't be institutionally racist toward our own folks. Just saying, all right? Come out and do that against Derek Johnson. And that's what they did. So there's some idiot that's going to go around saying, well, Rebecca won because of this, you know, Revelation that Derek Johnson filed for bankruptcy. Look, the guy had a business that worked. Chicken and waffles, very popular. Employed black ex-prisoners. 
bravo to Derek. But this is Rebecca's moment. And to finish my praise of Derek as much as I'm damning the media, this one particular media organization for attacking him because I'm media too, all right? Derek was kind enough to call Rebecca and concede the election because, frankly, the numbers coming out of the Registrar of Voters, if you got the actual runs of the ranked choice voting, they show that Rebecca won. But the Registrar of Voters wasn't presenting those runs for public view. I have them. It says it right there in green. And then it says at the bottom in black. All right. I have it. But, hey, you know what? Did you see it? No, you didn't see it. Uh, let me show it to you real quick, all right? Just just for grins, as they say. Because you need to, to know that this was, was out there, the truth about this, okay? Um, simple fact of the matter is the registrar voters last week wrote that Rebecca won. That in the spread of shares and ranked choice voting, she prevailed. That's what was written. And uh, unless you have doubts, I'm going to show you right now, as I said. Um, so you can see. It's waiting for this to do its thing and magically produce the post that I'm talking about. And uh, I believe I found it. From November 5th, folks. November 5th is what I'm about to show you. Yeah, November 5th. Okay. You're going to see what the Alameda County Registrar of Voters actually put out. I'm going to show it to you right now. Here it is. Here's, here it is, okay? Round two, threshold, Derek B. Johnson. See that? Rebecca Kaplan, see that? And then look, Derek B. Johnson is eliminated because the candidate was not elected in the last round. Rebecca Kaplan is elected because the candidate reached the threshold value. Rebecca Kaplan is elected. The threshold value is 252%, all right? But in the actual, in the readout that they showed, what they actually showed, guess what? It didn't present that at all. It said, oh, hey, uh, it basically just showed you the, um, the posted raw voting results. Let me show you this so you can get an idea what I'm talking about here. Some bad stuff here, all right? This is what they did, all right? This is what they did. Um, um, there it is. Just calling this up for a second. Here we go here, okay. And um, here we go, city. And then <clears throat> Oakland. And here we go, okay. Here we go. Here it is. Look at this, folks. Right here. See that? Rebecca Kaplan votes. All right. Percentage 48.75. Derek Johnson 69. Excuse me. Derek Johnson 41.91. Remember what I showed you, right? Okay. And then it says uh, total number of votes represents ranked choice voting, first choice column only. Please contact Registrar of Voters Office for complete RCV results. So they, they were updating this number on a daily basis, but the percentage was barely changed, barely changed. So, you know, having seen the actual run, Derek just figured on his own, I'm guessing I haven't talked to him. You know what? I'm going to just in the agony here. We know the outcome because the registrar of voters has the runs. Let's just quit this. And that's what he did. Because that gap wasn't going to close. Good for Derek. Now, what does it say for Libby? The mayor needs to have a sit down with Rebecca. She needs to really work hard 
with her rather than consistently trying to show she wants to work against her. Just as our country needs to pull together, those two need to pull together. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.